Hello, this is Guy Grant, your Spring Hill, Florida Realtor, and I'm coming to you today with a market update. Um, these are the stats for June. Uh, they came out uh, a little while ago, um, but what they are showing is that closed sales are down. These are single family homes throughout the entire state of Florida. Um, closed sales dropped down from 26,000 last year to 23,000. Number of cash sales is down. That was a 11% drop and a 14% drop. Uh, of course, the uh, cash as a percentage of closed sales is down a little bit as well. Surprisingly, the median sale price is up 1.7%, as is the average sale price is up 4.7%. So what that means to me is that the good houses are selling and the ones that uh, need some work are not. Um, total dollar volume is down. Um, uh, median percent of original list price uh, it was 97.5%. Now it's 96.5%. That means how much it actually sold for. If it was a $100,000 house a year ago it would sell for 97.5 now it's selling for 96.5 so it means there's a little a little more dicker room in the prices these days um, time to sale is is up that's marketing time you know how long it takes to get the contract and then how long it takes to close both of those are up um, new pending sales is down a little bit as well for for next month uh, new listings is up 6%. Um, pending inventory is down. And then active inventory, this is the big one. A year ago, there was 60,000 single-family houses for sale in Florida. And now there's almost 97,000. That's a 60% increase in inventory, um, which is going to start having a bigger effect on, uh, on the sale prices. Um, and then, of course, month supply of inventory is way up as well, uh, from 2.8 up to 4.6. That's, you know, four and a half months supply of inventory. So, um, bottom line is there's uh, a little more room for buyers to, uh, to make deals now and sellers. Your houses need to be in, in good shape and priced well, or they are just not going to sell because um, there is there is inventory for uh for buyers to look at um i can change this real quick and we can look at hernando county um just to get an idea hernando county obviously is where i'm at here in spring hill and we'll go ahead and apply that all right uh, last year in June, there was 399 sales. This year, there was 324, so that's almost a 20% decrease. Um, cash sales is down 36% from 98 down to 63. Um, and uh, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, cash is a percentage. Now, the median sale price is up 4.5%. That is, that is, that's good news that the prices are hanging in there. And the average sale price is up 1%. Uh, median, if you don't remember junior high school math, median means that there were as many houses sold for above 344 as there were for below 344. So sometimes the median goes up when, uh, when things aren't going quite as well. People with money can still afford to buy houses where the folks that are struggling or first time buyers or stuff are having a harder time. So that can actually drive the median up where the average actually stayed really close from 358 to 362. Um, total, total dollar volume down 18%. Um, Hernando's doing pretty well here. It went from, uh, that actually stayed the same, the uh, percent of list price of what it's selling for. That actually, uh, that actually is hanging in there. Um, the uh, number of days obviously has is, is gone up on uh, both time to contract and time to close. Um, pending sales is down from last year. Um, wow, new listings is actually down in Hernando County. Um, but if you look at active inventory then down here, um, it's up 62% from last year. So that's probably just a monthly anomaly. Um, 
and month supply is went from 2.3 to 3.8. So Hernando's doing a little bit better than the rest of the state. Um, some of the some of the more expensive areas, the Miamis and the Tampas, that um, you know went up even higher than we did. Uh, they're they're coming down a little faster than we are. So that's actually good. We're a little bit more stable. Um, but anyway, that's the market update. Uh, good information in a short amount of time, hopefully. And if there's anything I can do for you, please get a hold of me. Thanks.